Hi guys, so in today's video I want to take a quick look at one of these little uh, pocket multimeters. They're quite handy to have around, uh, you can easily throw them into your tiny little uh, toolkit and uh, transport them. Uh, the only uh, major drawback of uh, these pocket multimeters is that they don't have the ability to measure current. So you've got DC volts, AC volts, this one's got a, a frequency and duty cycle measurement, uh, ohms and capacitance, but no current. So what to do? The answer is of course uh, quite simple, uh, just measure the voltage drop over a, a sort of a low value res resistor like this. This is a 1 ohm resistor and over here I've got a 0 0.1 ohm resistor. This is uh, from Vichet, I'll link down the uh, the product number for, for, for this specific resistor down below. It comes from RS Components and it costs about a dollar. Uh, so it's not that much to uh, give your multimeter uh, let's say up to about 2-3 amps uh, current measurement c capability using a value like this one, this is a 1 ohm uh, you can measure milliamps but of course then your burden voltage is quite high alright so here I've got the uh, 0.1 ohm resistor hooked up to the uh, multimeter I've got the multimeter set to DC volts it's auto ranging and it's going to be me measuring the voltage drop across this resistor right so let me now hook up the uh, supply to it I've got the supply set to uh, 100 milliamps uh, you know, on the current limit scale so let's switch that on there we go okay you can see it's uh, reading uh, 100 milliamps and there you can see the voltage drop across that resistor is about 10 millivolts right so using Ohm's law you can actually just move that decimal one place to the right and that's the amount of milliamps that you're measuring across uh, or in this circuit uh, so yeah there you go We're quite easy to uh, to measure the, uh, the the current flow through this circuit I'm just going to be increasing the uh, the current quickly so let's just turn that way up Maybe it's that's a, what's that about half an amp so you can see it's still fairly accurate uh, it'll do the business uh, let's take it up to all the way to 2 amps there we go measuring 2 amps without any problems doesn't really heat up uh, the voltage drop across this is actually fairly low 200 millivolts so yeah Let's uh, quickly have a look at the uh, larger value resistor. This is a uh, 1 ohm, uh, and with that, we can actually measure milliamps directly. And you can see uh, the 1 ohm resistor in there. Uh, it's currently measuring what that 103 millivolts. So that equal uh, equals about 103 milliamps as well. Uh, of course, the burden voltage across this uh, resistor is now quite large. So for every 100 milliamps that you are measuring, you're also dropping 100 milliamps over this resistor. The advantage is, of course, uh, that you can measure small currents. There we go. Uh, with uh, with a fair amount of accuracy. So there you go, all you really have to carry with you to measure current is uh, just one of these uh, 0.1 ohm resistors and uh, you're good to go for let's say up to 2-3 amps DC. Oh and before I forget, remember to get uh, these very very handy alligator clips from uh, Frankie's store. Uh, he's the guy that runs 99 cent hobbies. I'll link in the uh, this little uh, product or the link to his store down below as well. Okay, I uh, hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, please uh, let me know and uh, you know that it uh, always helps. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.